Alright, alternate endings in Danganronpa, Rentaro ending. Rentaro is a previous killing game survivor. He's practically a cheat code for the other participants and his survivor perk will guide the other participants to the mastermind's identity. Unless a certain blonde pianist fucking murders him. So Rentaro with his OP talent discovers the mastermind's identity and everyone lives. The Lover Ending. For all three games, the product and product partner choose to dig everyone and escape on their own. Ikusaba. <laughs> in Trigger Happy Havoc, Makoto and Kyoko realize they're being targeted by the Mastermind in the fifth chapter. Their only hope of survival is to use Makoto's bullshit luck to bullshit their way out of the school and leaving everyone behind. I'm going to hit this wall for no reason. <laughs> My fucking hand hurts. In Goodbye Despair, Chiaki as an AI found out that either Noctil was gonna ruin everything or that Monokuma was gonna do something silly as usual. So she contacted the Future Foundation to retrieve her consciousness and preserve it. Hajimi's unfortunately got repossessed by Izuru, bullshit his way through the retrieving process and got revived as the ultimate despair, completely fucking everything over. And in V3, and this is the least possible one, but bear with me, Kaede Shuichi realized after various attempts on the death road of despair that escaping is impossible. Hey, don't say that. Yes, Kaito. So Kaede plans to use the first blood perk Monokuma offered to escape and get help. Most of the chapter plays out the same, except that Shuichi is now on even more depressed and Kaido can't be the main character anymore because Kaido is still alive. Protect the Weak, aka Kaito ending, is the ending where Kaito, Himiko, Shuichi, Maki and Gonta survive. Kaito is an idealistic hero who aims to make as many people survive the death game. However, his heroic personality is flawed, making him only protect the weak and abandoning the strong. There's no way for him to escape anymore since Kokichi is dead. And we all know that the teamwork of Kaito and Kokichi was the last step the group needed to end the killing game. The ultimate imposter ending is the ending where everyone lives. The ultimate imposter is the best leader in any Danganronpa game. He even outshines heroes like Taka and Kaito. Under his lead, bit by bit, he would get closer to the truth and ultimately making everyone survive and living up to his promise. I will guide you all. Gonta ending. Gonta picks the right quirks, he does not suffer memory loss, making Kokichi's plan successful and making him the only one escaping the killing game. Everyone survives in each game and they all live happily after except Kaito because he never could be the main character. The bad ending, Juko wins and puts the future foundation in another killing game, ruining the last chance of achieving hope now that all the remnants are running free. The few innocents that are still alive are getting killed by those remnants. Munukata loses, Nayagi is dead, hope is no more, Junko wins. Celestia's plan is not so obvious this time as she successfully escapes on her own and makes everyone die. She lives in the huge mansion Monokuma promised her, only to be surprised by countless of Monokumas that rip her to shreds. Fuyuhiko escapes. Pekko makes Fuyuko escape, however there is no escape since all the participants are in the simulator and him escaping results in him being the only one regaining his memories and all the other participants result in regaining their despair memories, meaning everything is still fucked. Miu wins! Miu kills Kokichi, bullshits her way through the trial since she created the future world and escaping on her own, not realizing she's gonna live in the same hell Gonta would have lived in. The fuck? Keiji stops mentioning that he's a policeman and lives a happy life after, with trauma. Taka is a symbolic leader, he brought everyone together to prevent a murder. However, his fear of a death caused him to bring the school to a lockdown, erasing any chance of discovering the truth and completely bringing the game to a stalemate. The same with Angie. If Angie's school succeeded, it would have brought the participants peace. However, it brought it to a stalemate where all characters live in harmony without any hope of escape. The actor ending. Everything is fake and everyone is alive. Yeah, keep dreaming. And lastly, the Haiji ending. An ending where he did not. Thanks for watching. If I miss some, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, bye.